part two. I was just rambling. I was really trying to um, trying to get something to eat right now. But uh, yeah, I was I was trying to uh, get. I missed my lane. I'm trying to get in this lane, and I um, you shouldn't be making videos on your phone. That's don't don't do that if you're just trying to trying to get your license. But um, this is what I learned, man. So working in Milwaukee, I, I always had the uh, conception. I always had the um, perception that Milwaukee was like mostly white, just Midwestern white people. But it's it's like a half and half, black and white. Very violent town. If you go, if you ask people around, they say that's the one place you should never buy a home or or rent an apartment in is Milwaukee. And I'm thinking about going to college there after I'm done this two year program. Uh uh, I don't know. I may try to get into something better but um but yeah back to this video so what i learned is i almost got it to like i don't want to say a fight at the restaurant in milwaukee but it was a it was a chef there he just kept he was making a lot of uh he was making light of me um working a job so i worked at denny's for like two days i never i never knew how many drug addicts you have working in these shithole restaurants until i worked at denny's Everybody there was on some kind of drug. It was not funny. Like the video I made of the guy who I called the Democratic alcoholic druggie, that was him. I, that was I was making that inside the restaurant. I, I left. I left the second day. I felt like he was trying to rob me because he um he said he was gonna have his girlfriend pick me up. He wanted me to drive him home, and I'm like I don't fucking know you. So then, long story short, he um. He was he was working extra slow to get everything done. He was like the cook. He wanted to give me all the pans, and he was saying he's gonna have his girlfriend drive um, him home. And I was like, "Fuck that! I'm I'm getting out of here. I don't know what he's trying to do." And it wasn't paying anything anyway. But um, yeah, the dude was just talking a lot of shit about me, um, saying, "Oh, the job didn't work out," and all this stuff. So after like the after he was saying that, I was trying to like quietly just leave because it was like at the same time. The job wasn't paying anything. And um, I knew if I were to say something back, subsequently to me saying something back, he would try to turn it into a fight. So what I learned about this, and this is true, maybe my my opinion may evolve like it has 10 months ago. But, um, well, nine months ago. But working around black people, you got to worry a lot about fighting people. Pet, on over very petty sh things. Now, when I worked around the whites, I didn't have to worry about that. But what I had to worry about a lot was a lot of sneakiness, a lot of mistrust, mainly women. It was a guy who was like my, I don't know what he was. I don't know if he was like a manager or supervisor. I don't, I did not really care for him at all. He didn't care for me. Fine. Maybe like the maybe like the third day we were very, we were on cordial terms like the first couple days, but I'm not going to make a, an attempt to to try to be friendly with you after like after it's very clear we don't we don't really care for one another. But one thing I respected about him, he was very blunt on how he felt, how he wanted things done. While the women were very like like I said, a lot of some white people, not all, but a, but some that I've encountered there. I had to watch out for it because it came off like like they were just doing a lot of dirty shit behind my back and I would never know. So this is why I say, and I told this to somebody um, the other day, I don't identify at this point with nobody because there is nothing in the black community, nothing at all, no jobs. Nobody can approve me for a credit card or a house you know, but at the same time, everything that I have comes from white people, but I learned that, and I had this perception before, like, I got to understand that there are some that just may not particularly like me based on, I'm not going to say racism, but maybe something that happened to them by a black person and they're just taking it out on me perfectly fine. It just tells me that I have to wise up and I have to learn to just stand on my own two feet. Don't make alliances with people. Don't make friends with anybody. Just be on your own and honor your family. That's what I learned. 
But um, my apology, I made this call, the apology to the black community. Why I'm apologizing is because I did at one point say, I made it like whites just do no wrong. And, then, and, I, and here's the thing, I struggle with race a lot. I struggle with it. I, I, I've had different opinions than what I'm saying now. But I made it like, I made it like, you know, they can do no wrong at all. But I've learned that, like I said, I have no alliance. I have no allies at all. Because very clear, if if, if I was, if, if there was a black community, like a strong one that can embrace everybody, no matter who you are, I wouldn't have to, I, I wouldn't have to work that job in the boondocks. I could have stayed in Milwaukee. If they really, really, um, you know, cared about me, if I was one of their brothers, they would have, they would have embraced me. They would have told me, Hey, um, you know, I know another place where you can work for um, more money or they could have helped me out. They could have, they could have looked out for me, but they didn't do that. It was a lot of, it was a lot of bullshit at that place. But, um, I'm not here to just bash any group of people. I'm just telling you, being, I'm just telling you what I what I've experienced and what I feel now. It's like this: whites will give you jobs, but when you get those jobs, try to do better, because it's like you, you you will never get nowhere being a blue collar black person. And I'm saying I'm very I'm ve I'm very um I'm using a lot of elementary words for a reason because. There's a lot of shit going on in my life right now, but um, 